Guaranteed VoIP call completion as performed by Eyeball's Any Firewall Engine and Any Firewall Server. So this scenario describes two VoIP-enabled devices, each behind a firewall, web proxy, or NAT. Each device has an internal IP address and an external IP address visible to the outside world. Any communication to these devices from outside their network requires network address translation, or NAT, to translate or map between these internal and external IP addresses. Unfortunately, the process of NAT also breaks VoIP communications. But NAT is imperative to secure networks and efficient IP address utilization. The carrier grade answer to this problem that guarantees connectivity and maintains security? Eyeball Networks Any Firewall Technology, which is found inside the Any Firewall Engine, client-side software, and the Any Firewall Server, which is server software. Here I'll show you the process that takes place between a caller and a callee, which implements the IETF STUN, TURN, and ICE standards for NAT traversal. From the caller device, any firewall engine, which we'll refer to as AFE going forward, sends out a STUN discovery request. STUN allows a VoIP application, such as Eyeball Messenger, operating behind a NAT or firewall to discover a few important things about its current position in the network. The public IP address of the NAT it is behind, and the port number that the NAT has allocated for the, user, the application's user datagram protocol or UDP connections to remote hosts, such as another callee. This is done with the help of an external STUN server, any firewall server in this case, which we'll call AFS going forward, that provides the information to the VoIP application. So in simpler terms, STUN answers for AFE and the client application, where am I, my public NAT address, and what ports and addresses can someone call me on? Traversal using relays around NAT, or TURN, is a protocol that allows an application, such as Eyeball Messenger, behind a NAT or a firewall, to receive incoming data over TCP or UDP connections via relay from an external server. It is most useful for applications behind symmetric NATs or firewalls, typically enterprise firewalls, that wish to be on the receiving end of a connection to a single peer, such as another messenger or VoIP client application. TURN accomplishes this by using a server, in this case AFS, to act as a middleman or relay point for signaling and media. So in simpler terms, TURN says, sorry caller, you're not allowed to talk to the callee directly because of the symmetric NAT or firewall you're behind. But, if you like, I can relay your conversation because I am allowed to talk to both of you. Now that the caller VoIP application knows where it is and what connectivity options are available to it, it sends out a SIP invite to the other application, or callee, it wants to talk to. The application does this using the SIP signaling protocol, which goes through standards-based SIP servers in the network, in this case, Eyeball Network's SIP server. When the callee has received a SIP invite message, it then performs the same turn allocation the caller did previously to find out if there are any relay servers available that could facilitate a call between itself and the caller. Having done its turn allocations, the callee now sends an OK SIP message via SIP signaling indicating it has received and accepts the invite and knows the options or candidates available to complete the call. Via SIP signaling, the caller and callee now exchange the information gathered during the stun discovery and turn allocations, sharing with each other the candidate IP addresses and ports they each have available to initiate a call with. ICE, or Interactive Connectivity Establishment, is a method and accompanying protocol that acts as the quarterback in setting up VoIP calls through NATs and firewalls, using the STUN and TURN standards. It assesses the options AFE has gathered via STUN and TURN and makes a decision as to the best possible way to establish connectivity, given the available resources. The first preference is peer-to-peer -peer if possible, and if that is not possible, the fallback is to relay the call via TURN, which typically happens if the endpoint is in a UDP block scenario, such as an enterprise firewall. Once the best method is determined by ICE, a call is set up, connectivity is established, and media may begin being transferred. So there you have it. Guaranteed call completion as performed by any firewall technology. For more information on this, please visit eyeball.com. Thanks for watching.